the downside of side effects or drugs. This will be a boon to all humanity throughout the world. We're presently being sh shipping a 40-foot container to Nigeria for the start of a launch in November. This will be an amazing amount of uh, healings to so many people in Nigeria. I sincerely hope that we bring this to the rest of Africa in a short period of time. Thank you very much for your time. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Lemler. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I uh, went to UCLA for my biology degree and I've been in practice now for 30 years after going to chiropractic college. Uh, I consider myself a holistic doctor and I find the importance of uh, things like this alkaline product that we'll be talking about to be an intimate part of the uh, health. And with me today is Dr. Meridian Grace, naturopath. <laughs> I'm a naturopathic doctor and I've been at it for almost 40 years now in the many different arenas that are open to us as naturopaths, from homeopathy to herbology to working with classical medical um, blood tests and things like that, but reading them in different ways and supporting people and coming back into, into attunement with nature and strengthening their bodies to heal themselves. And I just want to quickly mention to you that Dr. Lemler is an amazing chiropractor with an amazing background in biochemistry, really brilliant and super understands the necessity of the body to um, be nourished and fed properly and in the intricacies of biochemistry. And he's a great person to talk to you a little bit today about uh, um, Clean Shield. <laughs> and talking about Clean Shield. So as practitioners, we have seen many things that are very important for the health of the body, but one of the most foundational problems we run, we run into is when people come to us, they have a condition because of their environment, their eating habits. There's a lot of reasons, even, even electromagnetic radiation. Uh, they are very acidic in their body, and there's a way of testing for that. Uh, but the result of that is we find that three things really develop um, profusely in, in an acid environment. One is inflammation. Of course, inflammation can cause pain and a lot of suffering. We have infections. Infections love an acid environment. If you have an acid environment, it, it, just, it just, these bugs are just looking for a place to, to find a home and party. So infections are very rampant in an acid environment. And then the last thing is uh, acidity engenders what we call a, an abnormal cell growth or cell development, which means cells, because they're in this acid environment, don't communicate properly, and what results is some of them start to multiply out of control, and their neighbors can't keep them. I mean, it's like that ruly neighbor that just doesn't keep themselves at home. The party spreads to the street, but the, so it can d develop into what we would call a tumor, an abnormal cell development. So those three things happen in an acid environment. And if you can bring that environment back to a balance between acid and alkaline, every part of the body has a different uh, level of, of uh, pH, which is the measurement of alkaline or acid in your body, but that pH is different. But most of the body is slightly alkaline. Of course, your stomach is more acid because it needs to digest food. And there's a couple other tissues that are mainly acid, but most of your body is alkaline, like your blood is alkaline. And if you become acidic, uh, especially in your blood, I mean, that, you can actually go into a coma and die from acidosis. But the body tries to keep the blood pretty normal, so the rest of the tissues tend to hold all the acid. And when that starts to happen, depending on where that acid accumulates, will result in a process that results in inflammation, infection, or abnormal uh, cell development or growth, or all three, and or in different areas of the body. But once something is triggered, then other factors come into play, and that disorder obviously starts to increase in its uh, intensity, and you can actually have a diagnosed disease. Yeah. So one of the things that's really interesting to me about that is that there's been numerous studies talking about how bacteria, fungus, virus, mycotoxins, all of these things that cause problems in our body all need and love an acid environment. And as soon as they're introduced to an alkaline environment, they can no longer live. 
So as Dr. Lemler was just speaking about, there are different parts in the body where the body may be weakened from some cause or another. And there, there's a proclivity of more acidity. And then what happens is the bacteria, fungus, and virus are drawn to that area because there's more acidity there. And the insidious part about this is that bacteria, fungus, and virus, and all of these sorts of things, and cancer, by the way, needs to be included in that, in that list. There's lots of studies about this. Um, anyway, what we need to realize is that all of these, as they're just natural lifestyle, their byproduct is acid. So they're continuing to support and provide an environment in which they can thrive. And so we need to actually be very proactive in working with alkalinizing. Now, as a naturopath, for many years I've worked with working with diets that are more that tend to be more alkaline. But I can tell you that if you have a hidden infection or a hidden fungal process going on inside of your body, you can do the most perfectly alkaline diet and you won't see your pH numbers changing. You'll still stay acid. Something stronger needs to come to play to help with us with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's where, you know, for centuries, herbs and different things, like very strong herbs have been, been used, and that's where something like Clean Shield mm-hmm. has proven to be amazingly effective. Okay. And so as Dr. Grace and I come to understand is, we've been doing a lot of work with trying to address this acidity problem in the, in the body environment, and we've tried many different things. Uh, we've done dieting, we've done... Uh, different uh, herbs and Detox. and detoxes and uh, saunas and mm-hmm. all kinds of different things and we both had personal experience with with uh, loved ones who had issues with health that they were highly acid and we could not get their systems into a, a, a strong enough uh, mode so that they could overcome that acidity it was so deeply ingrained um, and we've tried everything Unfortunately, at that time, we did not have Clean Shield, and um, so now that we've discovered that Clean Shield is is really the only thing that we have found that when you take it in, it's it's a very uh, alkaline substance, and in the alkaline stage, it's at what eleven point two two eleven point three, depending on what they dial it up into. Um, it's it's a very alkaline but safe product. You can use it on your skin, your eyes. Uh, obviously, you're going to be drinking it. I have patients use it even in their sinuses to help with sinus problems. So it's a very safe um, product, but we have found that it's the only thing that shifts the pH, and we measure these pHs, it shifts the pH from the acid environment that's in the body in, the, in an unhealthy person and gets it towards the alkaline side so that now the body can be more balanced that way and the inf- infections, the inflammations, and even the abnormal cell growth can reverse and a uh, normal is reestablished and things heal. But the body does it. The clean shield is establishing uh, something in the environment for the body so that it can do what it does. So the body heals itself. But we can assist that process by reducing that acidity level that's accumulated from the past. And this is the best thing we have found to, to directly address this issue above all other items like we talked about, including the famous alkaline water craze that seems to be going on. Mm. So this is not an alkaline water. It's really a tonic that changes at a very, very deep level. It goes into the nooks and crannies of the body that these other things only hit superficially. This is a thing that, that works to change this acidity into alkalinity. So um, I wanted to talk with you a little bit today about a number of the different clients that I've worked with and the kinds of results they've received and I've received myself. It's been quite uh, fascinating to work with this product. You might imagine that over 40 years I've come across a lot of things that haven't worked and had lots of big claims and very big prices. And that's not the case with this product. It's been very exciting to see something that really does what it says it's going to do. And that is, this really provides an alkaline substance for your body to use however it needs to use to support you in getting back to a place of balance so that your body can fight whatever it is you have going on. 
Now, as I tell you these things, I think it's important for you to remember that what's happening here is Clean Shield is not curing anything. Clean Shield is bringing your self, your loved ones, back into a state of balance so your body can cure yourself. And that's what we're really looking at. So, I had a client who came to me who had um, AIDS. I didn't diagnose him, someone else diagnosed him. And we put him on this product based on the idea that virus cannot live in an alkaline environment. And he called me back a month later. I don't know that if this is the reason, but with Clean Shield, his viral load was down 95%. In a month, he was absolutely thrilled. A neighbor who's been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, who's been on medication for it, who no matter what he was doing, his levels were getting really high, out of control, had numerous different lesions on his arms, found that once he started using alkalinity, his blood sugar came into balance, that he was seeing the lesions start to heal, and uh, that also he was finding that he was able to slowly reduce and get off of his medication. And he's thrilled with it. He's just telling all of his friends about it. I got a phone call today from one of my clients who's been diagnosed with metatastic cancer. The thing that was amazing to me that he shared with me is that um, he has really bad arthritis. And whenever he uses the alkalinity and sprays his hands, he has complete relief. And he considers it miraculous. And his daughter will not let go of it for anything because she sprays it on her skin and thinks it's the best thing that she's ever used on her face, bar none, <laughs> you know, $150 oint, uh, you know, special preparations that women buy for getting rid of wrinkles. She doesn't think anything has ever helped her skin as much as the um, uh, Clean Shield. Mm -hmm. So one area that's near and dear to my heart is working with families and children with autism. And uh, there's a young boy that I'm working with who is just doing extremely well. And it was fascinating, one of the things his father reported to me. Um, he was working with another doctor who had recommended a trial of a certain type of medication and protocol. And in order to do that, he had to get off of all the things I had him on. And of course, one of them was Clean Shield. And um, when he took him off the Clean Shield, his uh, son started to revert and go uh, lose his uh, ability to speak and was screeching again. And as soon as they put him back on C Clean Shield, that all went away. He was speaking again. He wasn't screeching like he used to. He was sleeping better and digesting better. So um, that was a very, very exciting thing to see. And I believe it has a lot to do with the effects of alkalinity of Clean Shield mm -hmm. to upregulate the digestive system. This is my conjecture from what I've been seeing with my clients, but it does appear to profoundly affect the entire digestive system. I wanted to talk about one of the things that many women deal with, um, and I had a client who came to me. She had been diagnosed from her gynecologist with, I guess, 23 years of recurring vaginitis and vaginosis. It was awful for her to the point where she couldn't really even get around or do anything. In three days, it was completely gone, and she was just so incredibly excited about it. And, um, you know, this is the sort of thing that happens when the, the milieu in the body um, is able to recover its balance instead of being out of whack with the pH, but it finds its own balance. For some people, it's more acid than others. For some people, it's much more alkaline than others. But when it finds its own homeostasis, the body is able to deal with these things. And I believe that that's one of the wonderful things that we're seeing with Clean Shield, that it supports the body in finding its own specific pH uh, balance. For myself, um, I love to cook, and I can't tell you how many times I've burned myself. Mm -hmm major ones, you know, I mean, touching broilers and things that immediately blister. And all I do is use a little bit of Clean Shield and in minutes, probably five max, depending upon how serious the, bl the burn, the pain is gone and I never get any type of scarring from it. The other thing um, that I noticed with myself was 
I previously had um, done a tremendous amount of work to clear myself of osteoarthritis. And um, I didn't have osteoarthritis, and I started taking Clean Shield, and after a little while, it came back with a vengeance for three days. Scared me half to death. And then I realized on the other side of it, when it went away, that um, I actually um, had more mobility than I did before I started taking Clean Shield, which was shocking to me because I thought I was doing great, but it was amazing. I shortly afterwards took a trip to India and found I could climb up and down rock mountains all day long with no pain, and it was just astounding. I still had a little bit of a glitch when I would go down steps and down hills, and that was completely gone after I started it. In homeopathy, there's a principle, and it has to do with recapitulation of old health problems that you've had as you heal. And I think that's what we're seeing, at least it appears that way, with some of my clients who are discovering that after they take Clean Shield for a while, an old problem that they had will come back up for a little while and then completely clear and be gone and not show back up again. So um, it's a very exciting thing, the wisdom of our body, the brilliance of it, how it can use you know, something like supporting the balance of its pH to provide a, um, a springboard for whole new levels of health and wellness. And that's what we're looking for here is, you know, all of us would love to have more radiant health, more vitality, more energy as we um, move through our years. And I think this is going to be one of those things that will serve that for anyone who decides that they want to experience Clean Shield. Some of the uh, patients I work with, um, we've been talking about using things internally for disorders that have been more of a, a general health concern, but I've used it quite a bit with my patients externally. Uh, for one thing, I've used it for myself as well as my patients is sunburns. A lot of people get a sunburn and you know they, they expect to get red and pain and peeling later and all that. Um, if, if we use it right away, or even within just an hour or two, uh, if, and any other burn, as Dr. Grace had mentioned uh, about having burns, but any th those types of things, you spray it on, and you will not feel the pain. Like the next morning, normally I would take a hot shower, and I'd go, whoa, mm -hmm. from, from the burn that you know, the hot water hits. In this case, you don't, you don't, the next day you don't even feel it, and it just heals up. So that just a alkalizing the tissue that's been burned uh, and within a, a short time frame of, of the uh, exposure is very, very beneficial. I also have had patients who sprayed on areas that they just, they hit, you know, blunt trauma or fell down and hit their leg or shoulder and there's potential of bruising. And there's even cases where we, we, they fell and then one side they, they knew it was really hurt and so they sprayed it uh, daily, you know, like three times a day, and they didn't do this other area of the body because they didn't think it was hurt. Well, what happened is this area didn't bruise, and then the other area that they didn't spray did bruise because they didn't spray it, but they didn't know they had hit it that hard, where they knew they landed on their shoulder, so to speak. So I've seen this help with bruising, any type of, of, uh, of physical impact. Uh, even after a, an auto accident, it's good. I use it on people. It's good for the neck. Uh, just to help that tissue uh, recover as quickly as it can. It also is good for, uh, of course, the skin. We talked a little bit about the skin, but uh, if you spray on your skin, wipe it off, and you know, dry it off, and then put just a little bit of water in your hand and, and do the, put a little water on there afterwards, it seems to make the skin kind of get its tone back and uh, decrease wrinkles and those nice types of things. So for some people, that's, that's uh, an important thing. Uh, we also find that I've had some people who have had sinus problems. We'll have them, you know, put some up into their sinuses, like with the, the sprayer, and that'll help heal that. And also people with gum disorders and tooth type of things where there's loose, not loose tooth, well, I hope they're not falling out, but, but gum weakness and where the tooth is loose, or even chronic infections in the mouth, they'll swish it around before they swallow it. They'll swish it around for a minute or two and if it's something down deep in the throat, you might even gargle a little bit with it so that it can get deeper in. 
and then you swallow it. But that application on a daily basis really can help uh, those areas. And I've had one person specifically have their their gums, the, re, the receding gums, uh, come back into a uh, normal level of, of function. So that these are all applications of this that you may not think about, but it's something that really can benefit your health. So you know how it is when you, can, when you hear someone speak about different cases, then you start thinking about others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I wanted to tell you that um, I had a very interesting personal experience when I was in India. I was hit by a, um, a motorcycle crossing the street and thrown to the ground and cut up my leg pretty good. And, um, you know, I had already been treating friends of mine with nasty blisters who came there with new shoes. Not a smart thing to do if you're ever going to travel to a place where you're going to walk a lot. Um, and they had nasty blisters and they were ending up going to the hospital to get antibiotics until they found out that I had Clean Shield with me. And I started spraying their blisters and they, they were no longer infected. Mm -hmm. So I carried this with me and um, I had it with me at the time of the impact and I sprayed all of the cuts. Mm -hmm. Now at that point I thought the Clean Shield would only be good for abrasions. I had no idea it was good for, um, for um, black and blueing as well, for hematomas. <laughs> and um, the fascinating thing to me was I fell on the right side, that's where all the major impact was, so I thought that's where everything happened. But I was obviously hit by the motorcycle on the left too. My left side black and blue, my right side did not, where I sprayed it for the abrasions. Wow. And then um, another one of my, um, my clients in Austin um, <coughs> has HIV AIDS and he's been going to a special dental clinic for um, people who have AIDS because most dentists don't want to work with people who have AIDS. And um, he has had a serious, serious problem with periodontal disease. Mm -hmm. And um, he's incredibly meticulous and really does you know, a good job of cleaning his teeth and flossing and all the rest of it. But it doesn't matter. Every time he goes in, there's tons of plaque to remove. This time when he went in, it had been longer because there had been subsidy 